we've got to get to some congratulations. Um, I got to talk about my girl Serena Williams. I got a crush, a little bit of a crush, but <laughs> Serena won her historic 20th Grand Slam title at the French Open, her third French Open, third title in a row of a major, so she's going for her own Serena Slam. Did you guys check it out? It was crazy. She had the flu. She was losing. Yeah. What an amazing... Yeah, that was, that was the I most mean, impressive thing, that she fought through the flu and she still finished that out. Exactly. But for me, I thought it was great how she... I didn't know how she was going to come back from any of because she withdrew out of that tournament. I think she had you know, like a similar illness, too. She had an injury in there, and she came back, and she was able to win this. Now she's two wins away from Steffi Graf, and four sense. away from tying um, Margaret Court for, like, the top, uh, you know, the top wins in, you know, Grand Slam, Grand Slam total. So no I think it's great. I think it's... I mean, she's 33 years old. She still has, like, some, you know, left in the tank. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. she does, like. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Playing the best tennis of her life. I yeah. mean, well, what was amazing was that her elbow was what was giving her trouble yeah. uh, at the earlier clay court championships. Mm -hmm. And she just worked her way through the tournament, got better, speed got better on the, on the serves. Yeah. And that final set, I mean, you know, Lucy Savarova has been coming along yeah. all along. She's been in the top 10. Never. She just got in, but yeah. 28 years old, she has her best match ever. Gave her a great run for her money. And and she played in the doubles championship and won yeah. with uh, oh, Betty wow. Sands. But th what was great was that during that match with Serena, it looked like she was going to fall on her face. I yeah. mean, literally just, you know, uh, Tamea yeah. Bajinski looked like she was just going to knock her out the box. Mm -hmm. That girl just willed herself. I mean, she was taking deep breaths, slowly walking around like mm -hmm. she was, I mean, it was unbelievable. I just love her. You know what the best, <laughs> the stat I'm proud of is the fact that she's like, the first, like, she's top where it comes to women earners. She's like, sure. she's grossed over like six to nine million dollars in like her career. No doubt. And she's fourth all time with, you know, tennis earners. The funny thing about yeah. it though is, is that she's not the highest paid female tennis player right now. Yes, yeah, yeah. Maria Sharapova mm -hmm. and Lee Na actually make more money than her because of endorsements. Yeah, that's why. Needless to say, and Lee Na, I know. Well, Does she have beats? Lee Na's in China, though. Yeah, that's why. That's got major She's Maria's big into fashion, too. Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh, exactly. And she's <laughs> really got a cookie is. company or a candy, oh, gosh, a yeah. candy company. Yeah. it is, yeah. But what's great is yeah. she's two wins away from the, Clare from the calendar Grand Slam. Yeah. Calendar Grand Slam oh. in the same year, which mm. is, like, never been done since, like, the 30s. So next is one then. Yeah, Next is Wimbledon, that. and she's already thinking about yeah. it. I mean, I, that was the funny thing at her. Well, also, it's only a couple weeks away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> you know, if you're not ready, I guess you're not ready. Yeah. <laughs>